Fashion has always been there. It just wasn't the traditional route. I wanted to go to fashion school. Obviously, money was an issue. We didn't have a, a lot of funds. My parents didn't know to you know, save money for college. My fashion kicked in when I started sketching and drawing dresses. I don't know where it came from. Maybe I was just surrounded by fabric and seeing my mom sew clothes. Um, just hearing the humming of the sewing, just creatively, it's just been ingrained in me to kind of think of fashion the way. My mom used to sew as clothes. My sister and I dressed like twins, even though we weren't at the same age and I hated it, but everyone loved it. So I think part of it kind of stayed with me. I actually designed my own prom dress in high school. <laughs> I had this vision and there's always been like the way it is with me with creativity. I see a vision and I want to make it come alive. I never knew how. And luckily my mom was a tailor. So I said, mom, I want a white velvet halter dress with beads all around it. Obviously I saw a more grand idea, but we could only do what we can find at Joann's. <laughs> and she made it. And I showed up with my own design. And she always thought that I would go into fashion school. And I just never thought of it because you know, Asian parents don't really talk about careers on a creative level, right? She never encouraged it. She just kind of kept in her back of her mindset that if I did do it, she would be fine with it. But she always sort of swayed me to do more of the traditional business and go work for somebody. And with our financial at the time, being the eldest and not having a lot of money, I just did the traditional route. And I never stopped sketching. She actually said she kept a few for a long time until we moved so much that she eventually had to like give it away. But she wasn't surprised when I said I wanted to do bags design. She goes, yeah, I figured you would. You always just sketched when you were little. I was like, really? <laughs> I guess your memory always kind of hides behind what you think the reality should be, but your passion never leaves you.